Tell me, Hermano, are you out of it? Welcome back, guys, to Fog Entertainment and Easy. Let's the Angel leave the club on the bridge. He does leave the club now. El Palo left the club a long time ago, but he was certainly into it. Is Angel into the club anymore? That we do not know. There's basically signs throughout the entire season. Season 5, the Angel wasn't really feeling it. I'm not saying he initially wanted out the club, but he definitely wanted the club to change. He was slowly turning against war. He didn't want anything to do with the cartel or anything that would bring Cole back to his door. We could see Angel trying to push the club in a different direction. Obviously, that didn't happen. We then have Felipe getting killed. And then Adlita disappears. And at this point, Angel pretty much has really no one outside of Easy and his son. And he knows that Easy is the president. Easy could literally die at any time. Easy's too busy leading the Mayans on this crazy war, this like road to be this dominant charter. And Angel, I don't think, wanted that. He needed to be there for his son. He needed to stay alive for his son. And he basically decides the only way he can protect his son and be there for his son is to distance himself from the club. And he decides to leave. He decides to leave. And what I didn't like about the whole arc of Angel, I see, it was his whole personality. Nothing else to him other than leave. And like bitch about... Oh, that ain't very safe, Angel. You know what you signed up for. You were an advocate for war. At the end of the day, I don't. I think he is a bit hypocritical and bringing his son into all the decisions. I have a son now. Every temple I'm meeting, I've got a boy. Same bishop said you should leave and become a janitor. Why don't you go and become a janitor? Leave. If you want to mop those floors, then leave. But obviously, Mayan fans, we talk about bike scenes and what we got here, it kicked off with a bike scene. We seen a glimpse of Miguel and Emily. Um, I thought that might have been the last time I ever see them, but I thought wrong. And then they have a race in which Easy wins. But then we go to the bridge. We've seen this bridge on numerous occasions. We've seen it with Easy and Gabby. We've seen it with uh, Angel and Miguel about five episodes ago. And that makes it even worse. Like The brothers have all met on this bridge at different times. Just not all together. Yeah, not all together. Separate occasions. Separate occasions. And it easy kind of gets where Angel's getting at here. He he, have, he has a wee shot in the dark. And Angel's like, I need to live for him. And I think it was, quite honestly, one of the best uh, scenes of the season. It reminded me of the early days with these two. And I like the whole dialogue where Easy says it wasn't Emily. It wasn't... Uh, Felipe, it wasn't our daddy, it wasn't Padre that kept me from uh, putting a curtain around my neck and ju well, a sheet around my neck and killing myself in prison. It was you, Angel. You made me strong. And you, I think you do get the feeling here that Easy really only has Angel left. I don't think he gives a shit about Sophia. I think it is all about the brotherhood, but I think seasons three and four and five, I think the Reyes brothers... We lost that. They became distant. Really distant. And is that, is that to do with Elgin James? I'm going to assume it's to do with Elgin James. I can't recall many scenes with these two. I mean, it could be, but we it's not really until season end of season two, season three, where Easy starts dating Gabby. So maybe you could argue that they just had different things, taking them down different paths. But yeah, no, as soon as Easy gets patched in, you would maybe think as an official member that would have brought them closer. But it didn't seem to work that way. It just seemed like Easy was going in one direction, which was bloody, and Angel was going the other direction. I don't agree with that. I think Angel was one of the ones that wanted war. Even for the Civil War, Angel was pushing for war. Yeah, but they, they clearly had a difference of opinion. You look at when Kanche got blown up and he survived it. Angel did not want to do that. That's, that's purely because there was a kid. There's nothing to do with Kanche. Yeah, a kid. And then you look when they go on the mission with, um, what's his name? Manny and they shoot the Randall they shoot yeah because he was molesting the kid again Angel compromised that mission and then again in the hospital he wants to let Gabby go and they have another disagreement they never they rarely agreed with each other from season 3 onwards I think Angel just didn't want to kill innocent people he didn't believe in killing children I don't think he believed in killing Gabby just because she witnessed something yeah, so that's a, he was still, he was still and Easy did not agree with killing innocent people until pushing, season three. He was still pushing for war. He never at once said, nah, you know what, it's still a war, let's bow down. 
He never once said, no, the Suns, let's not let's not go after the Suns. Yeah, but from a morale morality point of view, Angel went the good guy way and Easy went the other way, brother. If you're not on this train, it's going to run right over you. And I think this scene was probably the perfect time to bring up the whole cartel. Warehouse getting burnt down, not even mentioned. They glossed over it. But overall, I enjoyed this scene. I do like the fact that Easy let Angel leave. But you could argue with Angel, yes, he's seen out the war and they've ended it, but if the war's over, is there really a need to leave? I disagree. I, I, I think the whole warehouse thing should have got brought up way before this. This just ruins their final scene together. He brings up the warehouse, burning down the warehouse here. Well, I think bringing it up here is better than not acknowledging it. So it just ruins the final scene with both of them together? Was they're going to leave on good terms? I, I, I don't. He doesn't need to get butt hurt over it. Easy. Right, okay. it, it, well, it, he's clearly, but he's clearly made all right with it, or else he would have brought it up. So why bring it up then? You know, it doesn't make any sense. Because he could talk about here. I know you burnt down the warehouse, but I was a rat at one point. We're even. I'll let you leave. You have my word. I'll bring it to the table. That I don't think. Talk. I don't think easy to bring it up. It would make more sense for Angel to bring it up. Then Easy would shut it down. Oh, don't you worry about Big Bro. I like that's in the past or something. That's in the past. You may have uh, completely shafted the entire club and made us in debt at the call, but it doesn't matter, man. But yeah, he agrees to let him leave. Were you surprised that Easy agreed to let him leave? Well, initially, he was upset about it. No, he was, obviously. He but... feared that Angel was abandoning him and leaving him and basically <laughs> just giving up on him, but he quickly realised Angel's reasoning behind it and that Angel needed to be there for his son and he didn't want his son, son to become an orphan. And I think Easy understood that. And who knows? I mean, if things played out differently, he would have been in the exact same situation as Angel. But he didn't. However, I mean, you could argue that at this point it did look like the mines were on top. So, I mean, if Angel was going to leave... Would he not have left earlier in the season when things were a bit more rocky for the Mayans? That's what I'll say, though. He was a good Mayan. He's seen the war it. He could have very easily jobbed it and left. Like a Taza? Aye, like a Taza. Exactly like a Taza. You know, put his wee ass on a bike and you ride mean, off. Especially after last episode. Ride off into the closet. If he, if Angel drove off after episode nine, after they literally broke into the house and killed Felipe and like almost got the Maverick. Yeah, they could have been like, look, sons were in my house. Son, I'm done. Yeah, but he didn't, and he's seen it out. And I think is that factors as well into but Easy's I, decision. I also think that's kind of poor because we never seen Angel's like reaction to it. Like the fact that his son Maverick was in the house, and then Terry turns up, and Terry's like, "Do you want? It? I'll tell you what happened to my dad if you tell me what happened to Jess." Should we not have seen the reactions from Easy and Angel more so with Angel? Because I get it, Felipe was both their dads, but. I mean, Maverick was in that house and could have died. Yeah. Should we not have seen Angel's reaction to that? And Angel's like, right, I want them to pay. We don't really see that. Oh, yeah, Angel um, kills Joker. But we see nothing about why Angel being upset about it or Angel going or Angel like, no, we need to take this war to the sons. We don't get any of that. I, I think that would have been, I think that we should have seen And that. it's minor things like that that Elgin James just constantly missed out in this show. We should have seen that because at the end of the day, Angel's like Maverick was in there. Maverick's Angel's son. Easy can't really, you know, he he can't. He hasn't got the same feelings as Angel does. So, but see, TV shows are at the best when storylines overlap, and that would have been overlapping into that Terry arriving and then Angel like confronting him about it. And I like the fact that him footing Angel out to leave actually overlapped with them finding out Easy's a rat, and it both scenes meshed together. I enjoyed that. Well done, Delgan James. And his wee beanie hat that he wears. And I just, it was like, what are you doing? It's just a couple of seasons too late, wasn't it? It was. It was a few seasons too late, guys. You know, a lot of people shit in the minds. It's, I would say it's enjoyable. It's exciting. Yeah, you'll, you'll get some episodes that just bore the shit out of you. And a lot of it is poorly written. But at times, there was still like good action and just some exciting moments and so storylines and scenes. So it's not a massive failure. Yeah, it's like going from A to B, but instead of going on the motorway, you're going on the shittiest back road known to man. But A and B's no bad. If you get where I'm coming from. 
I don't think anybody gets that. Well, that's why you tune in to Fog Entertainment, damn it. But anyway, guys, until next time, we'll be back very soon. What's up next? Letty wants the Mayans dead. Can't we talk about that one? Can you? Definitely not. Letty wants them all dead. No one, just us. <laughs>